Have a great conference. Meet me at happy hour 415. I'll make a rectangle that's 4.4 inches. I'll make one that's 2.7 inches, one that's 1.2 inches, and I'll just stack them together. And then once I get them together, group them, and then you can do whatever you want. Drag a slide. Now you have a navigable button on your slide. Don't speak PowerPoint to them, speak English. What is it you wanna say in this, on this slide and across this entire presentation? What are your key points? Now let's talk about this particular slide. If anybody has favorites, share them with the people in the room because hey, that's why we're here, to geek out and help one another. I love all you PowerPoint geeks. So just as we have dental hygiene, we have vocal hygiene. And a little bit of vocal hygiene goes a long, long way. And I have a, a design that looks like I spent hours, if not days, on it. And it literally took me about 10 minutes to do this slide. If you're applying artistic effects to images in your file, PowerPoint does what's called non-destructive editing. And so it adds all of those effects, the blur or the mosaic or whatever, it adds it on top of the picture as a layer so that you can undo and get back to the normal image. I really enjoy the hybrid version of this summit because having your MC and all the secret chats going on in, in separate Zoom meetings while there's something happening in some ballroom in some hotel, this is just incredible. That is really the key criterion here. When to use title and content, when to use title only, when to use blank. You know, there was a time on stock photo sites when all the people, they were mostly white people. The minute they're trying to read their slide, they're not listening to you, Mr. Presenter. So which do you want them to do? Do you want them to read your slide or do you want them to listen to you? We live in a very diverse world. So you need to make sure that your images have different colors. And in addition to color and gender, what about body type? If you only want them to read your slides, then you don't even need to show up. This has made it feel like it's a real conference to me. The tried and true, the evergreen design fundamentals, the most useful core design theories as they pertain to effective presentations. Think about the cool things you can do and morph with that, by the way. When it comes to drumming up business, to doing sales, I don't want to be this guy. I just want to say I've never in my life until this now been to a conference where I actually felt more relaxed and energized by the end of the day. Moving from one place to another, um, Disney, um, uh, Mickey Animation. Mouse is an Animation. Animation. Okay. We'll look at how to achieve great things using PowerPoint to create this kind of clean, well-designed content quickly. During a fire, you look for these signs. No one speaks monotone. And I'm not saying that I want you to talk like a Disney princess. The people we are missing right now are watching this. Virtually. And especially in virtual land, we have to overdo it. We have to overdo our body language. Don't you feel like, like, like virtual is the breakfast club? Like all of us got sent to what we thought was intention and it turned out to be the best party ever. You know what I mean? Everything is filling up the slide. There's nowhere for your eye to rest. Give your eye a little bit of room to breathe. There's room around the table. The Alaska Airlines is still highlighted with a brighter blue in the bold text. All of this because I gave it away for free. If we want to protect people from the mental anguish that pressure and stress gives us, we might lose a lot of the performances by these incredibly talented people that have made society so rich. The general audience really has no idea what it is that we do, what it actually takes to create an impactful presentation. Because you can go online and do all the PowerPoint training in the whole universe and you will use none of it. Then I choose soft edges and you can increase the, how soft the edges are and you can create this very nice shadow underneath of an object. <laughs> or you can sit for five minutes in any of these demonstrations and you'll be writing sticky notes and you'll be practicing the shortcuts and you're, you're like, yeah! Thanks. Bye-bye, everybody. See ya.